Well, what's up, there, guys? Brian Hitty, three talks gamer, and I quite literally just got back from the video game wars. Uh, I just got back from like my four and a half hour drive from Los Angeles, so I just got in. So I'm still trying to get situated a little bit, but I just wanted to go over my overall experience of going to the video game awards to just give you my thoughts on things that I saw there, things, uh, people I saw there, and just uh, some of the announcements that they did. Um, but I will say this. Uh, having gone to the having watched the video game awards from home for multiple years it was quite a unique experience to actually be there in person now would I do it again next year I'd have to think about it but there were definitely some experiences there that I'm glad that I did go with this year so before I just give you guys my thoughts on the video game awards in general if you have enjoyed this video by the end please do not forget to like share and subscribe to track me on my future video ideas and like always if you have any ideas you would like me to see me upload in the near future before the end of the year make sure you share those ideas with me in the comments down below and heck I'll be sure to try to get them up as soon as I can and give you a shout out so first off the drive into Los Angeles now, I had actually made the trip to California several times over the course of my life, but this was like the first time that I was completely by myself driving. I have taken a Greyhound bus to California. I have flown to California. I've actually gone to California with a friend and he did the driving, but to actually do all of the driving from Vegas to LA was definitely an interesting experience. And this was like the first time I've ever actually been to downtown LA. And I gotta say, Downtown LA is a bit of a dump. Um, <laughs> I mean, I thought parts of Vegas here were kind of dirty, but yeah, I mean, even the supposed nicer areas were, didn't look all that great. Everything was just really cluttered. So I checked into my uh, motel and I, I kid you not, I don't have a picture of this, but I, I swear to you that this happened. As I was checking it and I was just kind of sitting out at a table waiting to get called to go up to my room, um, Phil Spencer walked, in, walked, walked into the room. Um, yeah, head of Microsoft. Apparently, Microsoft was holding a private event on like my floor, and he literally was standing there for like four minutes talking to like a couple people. But I was like, wow, the head of Microsoft is standing literally three feet from me. Now, I did think about asking for a picture, but I was like, no, because I, like always, I was like sporting so much PlayStation gear. I just think that would have been. A little bit awkward and, and maybe a little disrespectful so I, I just decided not to but I, I promise you I did get really really close to Phil Spencer closer than I, I thought I ever would now when I actually got to the uh, award show I was actually able to meet up with a couple of uh, YouTube and Twitter twitch friends in person uh, and the guys they're awesome uh, especially one who goes by the name of Mo Chocolate I believe that's his name I apologize if he sees this but dude is way cooler in person. He is filled with so much positive energy that uh, I, I really look forward to hanging out and, and seeing him at future gaming events in the future. So yeah, if he sees this dude, you're awesome. And uh, yeah, please check out his channel. He he, he put, uploads some pretty cool things on, on Twitch. So the actual awards itself. I think that the awards are actually okay. The actual individual awards I thought were fine. Um, uh, most of the key categories I guessed right in terms of who would actually win. Uh, I do believe that God of War did happen to win a lot. Um, I was really happy that uh, Christopher Judge actually won for best performance. Um, however, his speech went on a bit too long and that ended up being like a... <laughs> That ended up being like a running joke throughout the whole show. Like, he, he gave the kind of speech you would expect for, like, game of the year, but not, like, best performance. So uh, that was that was something. Uh, and actually, believe it or not, a number of uh, people I met there got to meet him. I was, I was actually really upset that I didn't get to meet him because everyone I knew that I was traveling with got to meet him and take a picture of him. I didn't, so I'm, I'm really upset about that. Um, Al Pacino looked kind of slow. I mean, I know he's old, but it was it was kind of awkward. Um, in terms of announcements, um, I gotta be honest, they didn't really announce too many things that I, I was actually like really excited for. I mean, everything that was I was mostly excited for was just for DLCs or the, they gave us some more information of uh, of uh, games I already have. Like uh, they showed us the first gameplay for uh, Jedi Survivor. That's already one of my most anticipated games and I saw the gameplay and I like the direction that they're going. It looks like it's you know going to be a step up of the last game, which I expected. Um, Idris, Idris Elba is going to be a, a new character in the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 um, 
DLC, which I'm definitely going to get, so that's going to be cool. Horizon Forbidden West, Horizon 2 Forbidden West, that's getting DLC, um, just like in the first game, that got a big expansion DLC, so heck, it's going to be great going back to LA. But the big surprise that I did not see coming, the only surprise of the night was the fact that they announced that they're doing a sequel to Death Stranding. I did not expect that at all. I mean, with the kind of reception that the first game got, I thought it was a one and done series. I thought Hideo Kojima was going to move on to like another game, but apparently he's willing to give this another try. And um, I'm happy about that. Um, there's definitely room for improvement over the first game. I, I personally really liked it. I know a lot of people didn't. Um, so yeah, that I, I never would have thought in a million years they would go back to try doing another Death Stranding, but heck, I look forward to revisiting this world. I certainly had a fun time, and um, I'm curious to see what Hideo Kojima can do next. Um, what else did they do happened? Uh, it was it was nice. You know, the the musical performances I thought were were, were cool. It was it was good kind of seeing them in in, in person live. So it was kind of like a mini concert, which I thought was cool. I thought the orchestra phenomenal, phenomenal. I mean, it's one thing hearing it on TV; it's another thing to hear it and, and, and be there in person. Thought that was cool. Uh, what else happened? I think when it came to Game of the Year, the people I was sitting with, we were all kind of talking, and, and we kind of expected that Elden Ring was going to win, simply because God of War seemed to win too many awards. And I figured they were going to pull a Red Dead 2, where Red Dead was pretty much had won too many times that... It was surprising when it didn't win Game of the Year, but when it, when God of War won as many awards as it did, I believe it won like six awards, the Elden Ring's four, I was perfectly fine with that. It's like, you know, it, it's won all these awards, it didn't need Game, Game of the Year. However, I will say this, I think there's a bit of a pattern with, with those type of games, because as someone who's never played Elden Ring, I've only seen like maybe an hour of gameplay, that game just seemed just exactly like a Souls game. And I'm the kind of person who really does not have fun playing Souls. I mean, I've played Dark Souls for like two hours and I quit playing that. And I tried playing Demon Souls for like two hours and I got pissed off and I stopped playing that. I tried playing Bloodborne for like two hours, got pissed off and quit that game. So, and I think I tried that with Sicario, which is also like a Souls game. And I tried playing that for two hours, got pissed off and I quit that game. I think the only Souls type game I've played that I actually enjoyed was a, a Jedi of Fallen Order. Uh, that is kind of like a Souls game, but it's Star Wars, so that was like enough for me to stick with it. But that, that's all I saw from Elden Ring. I mean, if it's if it's more interesting, you know, um, and, and a lot of people enjoyed it, that that's fine. But uh, yeah, it just seemed like it was never a, a game for me. Um, but yeah, overall experience, um, I had a great time. And afterwards, I was able to hang out with a, a couple of other uh, content creators. Uh, we went out to eat for a bit, and on my way to Eat, I actually got to meet Ed Boon. Now, I don't think I'm going to post the picture of me and Ed Boon on here because I don't think it's a great picture of me. Because <laughs> I was kind of in it because because me because me and him were kind of in a rush. Like he was he was in a rush to go somewhere. I was kind of in a rush and we just kind of intersected. So I was just trying to be real fast. But um, I posted it on my social media post. So if you want to see the picture, you'll you'll know where to look. It just overall, I just had, I really overall just had a fun time. Um, there's definitely a number. Uh, at, this was kind of like the first gaming event that I've been to since. Jeez, man, wow! I just realized this is actually the first. Wow, wow! This is crazy. I never, I never thought about this. This is actually like the first gaming event I've been to since. I want to say the last PlayStation experience because I went to E3 2013 and I think I went to every single PlayStation experience up to the last one. I was hoping they would bring that back this year, but they didn't. So, yeah, I think going to events like this has like inspired me to want to go to more in 2023. And there's definitely a number of events like E3 and PAX and uh, I might do the Game Awards next year, but yeah, just the, the overall, the best part of the experience of going to these awards was just getting to meet up with and make some friends and meet some other content creators. That's definitely the, the highlight of uh, of my experience to the, uh, to the Video Game Awards. So that's pretty much everything that happened. Um, 
I'd like to know, what were your thoughts on the Video Game Awards in general? Was there any new games that they announced that you're really excited for? And uh, what's going to be your most anticipated game for next year for sure? So let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments down below like always. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will catch you all guys next time.